For some important systems like the transformer buckles, we use series flags. As the name suggests, the flag is in series with the initiating contact, and when the contact operates, the flag drops as well. Because the coil of the flag relay is in series with the trip relay coil, its resistance needs to be low enough so that it doesn't stop the trip relay operating. To calculate the resistance, we use Ohm's law. The value of V is the volt drop across the series flag. This needs to be low enough so that it doesn't stop the trip relay operating and is normally set at 5% to 10% of the system voltage. The value of the current is the normal operating current of the trip relay. With regards to the operating time of the series flag, we need to be careful, as some trip relays and trip coils have a cut throat contact, which closes and removes the current from the relay once the relay is energised. This limits the burden of the relay on the system, and we have to ensure that the series flag operates before this cutthroat contact comes into operation. Once we've worked out these parameters, we pass them on to the manufacturer, who will design a unique flag relay coil specifically for this purpose. Here we have a typical trip relay circuit with three initiating contacts. The Buchholz initiating contact has a series flag. Let's now initiate the Buchholz contact. As we can see, both the Buchholz series flag relay and the trip relay both operate together, and we generate a Buchholz trip alarm. The contacts and flag on this relay will definitely be hand reset, as the Buchholz relay indicates that we have a serious problem on the transformer, and the engineer will have to go and look at the issue before it can be resolved. Once they've done this, they will come back to the relay panel and physically reset the flag and contacts.